this is if you want to optimize your builds make sure that you uh, have just enough defense not to get let's say two shots by at volcana or that you have just enough defense to kill that 18 er gigante and not get one hit by a fatalis fireball the damage resistance works on the following manner you have this simple calculation here so we're gonna use the number 240 let's say i have 240 defense plus 80 defense from your base up there that is gonna bring you to 320 defense so if you divide 80 by 320 you're gonna arrive at the number 0 0.25 that means that if the monster deals 100 damage you're taking 25 percent of the damage so you're taking 25 damage now if your defense was much higher than 320 let's say your defense is 480 that will bring my defense to 560 now if i divide 80 by 560 you're gonna see that i'm still taking 0.14 damage but if my defense is doubled why am i not taking only half the damage because half of it we would have to be looking at a 0.125 now well, that is because defense has diminishing returns if i go on again to double this number that is now at 0 0.14 which was 480 damage let's say i instead have 960 defense okay i will divide 80 by 960 and the number we'd be expected to see in here would be a 0 0.7 but you actually see 0 0.8 so that means that damage has diminishing returns now this is one of many multipliers of how a monster attacks you also i will point out that this is assuming you're a melee because if you are a ranged user you'd have to multiply your defense by 0.7 before you throw it into this calculation here. Uh, yes, if you're ranged, you do take more damage from the monsters. Now, how to check the actual damage you take? There's a few other values that you need from that. First of all, the attack power of the monster in question that is attacking you. Let's say that the Glavenous Tail Swipe has 100 damage, okay? Then you'd have the quest attack multiplier because sometimes quests or investigations they have like an added damage to the monster or mastering quest or high rank quest, they all have different values. Let's say that for this one it's uh, times five, so he would be doing 500 damage. And the last thing is uh, your elemental resistances. Let's say Glavenous Tail Swipe has 100 fire damage, you will reduce your fire resistance from that by percent before you apply that as damage to yourself. And I want to add that to calculate your total damage taken there are several things that come into play there's a certain way defenses are calculated first of all you're going to have your base defense okay which is always going to be one because every hunter has one plus whatever defense your equipment gives you not the decorations or skills your actual equipment like let's say you're wearing fatalis armor and that is 900 defense and they're using a lens that gives you 100 defense that means your base defense is going to be 8001 that one that every hunter has plus a thousand from your armor and weapon after that the multipliers are considered primary you'd have the buff from defense level 7 would apply in here which gives you a plus 10 percent to defense 45 would apply in here which gives you a percent to defense after you cart any songs like the palico songs and hunting horn songs apply in here and then after those multipliers you have the buffs okay so the buffs are like the armor charm and armor talon the defense food and the armor juice i think it's called mega armor skin almost center word i'm not sure then after that you'd have the secondary multiplier if you would want to use that would be adamant pill now adamant pill and lasts for a little bit but gives you plus 30 percent defense so it's actually very useful and then you have the secondary list of buffs where you're gonna have feline booster defense level seven not the multiplier from defense level seven of plus 10 percent but the actual defense level seven that gives you if i'm not mistaken 35 according to my notes here you have a heroic buff would fall into here every other skill buff they all fall into here if they give you a flat amount and also uh stuff like hard shell powder and stuff would all be on this list here also you can get one final multiplier on all that like you have the primary secondary multiplier but there's a way to get a last one which is the king sack defense bonus now how much defense should you run which is a question that you might be asking right now since i just dumped all this information on you guys well i'll tell you i prefer to run with enough defense that i can get hit four times without dying okay now why four times you may ask well because depending on the weapon i am playing i like to risk it for the biscuit i like to go a little bit longer without healing up because of health augment on my weapon special most hunter ward if i am healing every time i hit the monster you know i don't have to stop to heal as much and if i can survive four hits that means that i can even get hit twice by like let's say uh the Austro does a mouth grab and i flinch him and he does immediately another mouth grab normally i would have to stop 
and heal. But if I have around 20 fire resistance and around 1200 defense, I think it is on that range there because that's a monster that I speed run. That means that I can still take two more hits and be okay, which means that I am not going to stop hitting him because he's not going to kill me. So if I'm ever outside the uh, one hit range of dying, I don't need to heal. And on a lot of my sets, I aim to stay alive for four hits. There are ways to figure this out with calculation, but it is better done with testing. You guys now know how to increase your defense properly. Don't believe the naysayers that say defense level seven is useless. It is not if you know what you're doing and good luck hunting out there.